Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to do a video real quick and not take up too much time. Uh, sort of a combination of off-camera pickups, uh, new comics, and the majority is going to be uh, comics that I got from the Battlegrounds auctions. Um, so without further ado, let's get it started. Uh, this first is a gift from my friend Jordan. He just gave it to me out of the kindness of his heart. We have Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the Funko Pop. So, I was thrilled to add that to my collection. <clears throat> Next, we have early birthday presents from my friend Nick. Uh, we have first appearance Wolverine. If you know me, you know I love Wolverine. So, love getting that. And then this one's got to be like the coolest like container. Uh, we have first appearance Batman. And I've always loved that very late 30s first appearance Batman. Oh, I just, I love it. I think it's awesome. <clears throat> if you remember, I got the uh, 1930s edition of Detective Comics uh, 1000. So, that's perfect for me. So, love adding all three of those. Um, on my own, I went and got Dragon Ball Super, uh, number 14. So, this is getting very close to the end of the Moro arc. I won't say any more, because I don't want to spoil people. Um, these next few comics are newer comics that I've picked up uh, recently. We have Batman Fear State Alpha. Got this from Fantasy Factory. That's number one. <clears throat> Got uh, Fear State Batman. And that's a uh, 112. See that? Okay. Next we have, I love the cover, uh, Sinister War number four. Need to get my thoughts back out there on some of that stuff. And we have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 73. Uh, only one issue to go on Spencer's run, so that's fun. All right, next, all the rest of these are auction comics. I'm going to try to get through these very quickly because there's quite a bit. But first, we have uh, Watchmen, number 3 of 12. We have third printing of Daredevil, number 25. I'm glad that I have some version of that. I don't care what printing it is. Um, this one actually wasn't uh, an auction book. This is just something I bought from Battlegrounds, Star Wars number three. And if you noticed earlier this year, I got Star Wars number two. Um, this one I got from the auction. It is Spider-Man 314. That is a Todd McFarlane book. I really need to get all the Todd McFarlane Spider-Mans. I already got the hardest one to get, so it's only easier from there. Uh, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 108. So, I didn't do a whole lot with Amazing Spider-Man, but the ones I got were pretty cool. Uh, Ghost Rider number 15. This one I have no idea about, but it looks very 80s, if I had to say. We have The Pirates of Dark Water. I mean, it reminds me of something. I don't know if it's the Goonies or something else. It just kind of reminds me of that. I'm probably stupid for not knowing what that is. All right. We have the Incredible Hulk number 148. So that's easily got to be the oldest Hulk comic I have. I don't even hardly have any Hulk comics. Um, and these are in no particular order except for maybe the last few. Um, we have Iron Man number 69. So you're going to just see like some interesting mixes here as we go. Um... So this is Dakin Dark Wolverine number one. Got the um, the homage cover to the 1988 Wolverine number one. Next we have Werewolf by Night number five. Pretty cool addition there. Um, these these next several are just kind of like Jessica books, or at least that last one and this one is um, supernatural thrillers featuring the living mummy the tomb of the stalking dead if you've never watched the stalking dead you should really watch it all right next we have gi joe starring snake eyes and ninja force number 136 this one i don't know about I'm willing to give this to somebody because I don't really want to read about Isis. I know it's a different Isis. I don't even know if you pronounce that the same way, but I actually don't know what the book's about. <laughs> but I don't I don't think it's my cup of tea. Alright, next we have Marvel Team Up, Spider Man and Iron Man. That is number oh, uh, there's no number. It's just that. 
Here comes Daredevil, the man without fear. This is number six. Next we have X-Men number 179. Pretty interesting cover right there. Next we have Moon Knight number 28. I need to figure out which volume of Moon Knight that is because the cover looks really cool. And I'm trying to piece together a little bit of a Moon Knight run. Okay, next we have an old Avengers. This is Avengers number 20. It looks like someone wrote on the cover right here, but they have really good handwriting. It doesn't excuse them, but um, it's actually, other than that, a pretty clean cover. All right, we have Daredevil, Born Again, also a great cover. That is issue number 230. Next, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, Annual number 17. I actually really want to read that one because I think annuals are just usually great stories. We have X-Men, number 210. I know that's something. I don't want to say what I think it is in case it's wrong, but I think I have another copy of that. Um, next we have The Amazing Spider-Man. I looked forever trying to see what number this was, but it looks like it was just a... So it's free with the purchase of AIM. Ironically, not related to the Marvel AIM. Um, <clears throat> it's just like something you win or got if you bought something, so it's just kind of its own thing. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Next we have an interesting Batman cover, uh, Detective Comics starring Batman, number 520, so that is cool. And this one is very neat, um, I don't see which year it's from, but that's uh, War Machine number one. Cool cover, but you, it definitely looks, um, you know, like 90s-ish. Next we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 244, um, gotta love those pumpkin bombs. Uh, Shane pulled this next one for me. It's a, it's a really big book. It's, um, it's like a specially big sized edition. Um, clean cover, very clean cover. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number fifty. <clears throat> um, I don't know if this is accurate on the back. It says first cover, first print, Death Shredder. So seems pretty cool if that's what that is. <clears throat> and then we have Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number two. I need to branch out to other Spider-Man books besides just amazing. Um, next, we have Venom Dark Origins, number one, part one of five. Pretty cool cover. Uh, I don't know what that book's about, so I need to give that a read. Next, we have Wolverine Origins, number one, variant edition. Don't really know any backstory about that, but I do need to give that one a read as well. Then we have the Avengers, number 180. Can't complain about an Avengers book ever. Next we have uh, the Justice League of America, Apocalypse Now, um, number 184. Also a very cool cover. A lot of these had cool covers. Um, here, I believe this is a facsimile of the Fantastic Four, number one. I obviously know it's not the real Fantastic Four, number one. Um, yeah, but... This one, I can't remember if this one was like one of the bigger books that I pulled. It says $20 on the back, and I know I wouldn't have paid that for it. But I think that one would be a great one to read. Next, I don't know what this is. It says Squee. Squee? The cover kind of reminds me of Invader Zim or something. <clears throat> Alright, next we have Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, number 220. All right, these last few books I just thought were pretty cool and noteworthy. Um, this one's just one I just asked for directly, The Ultimate Death of Spider-Man, um, issue 160. So <clears throat> I don't know if that's just issue 160 of Ultimate Spider-Man. I don't even know if he technically dies in this issue, but anything to do with that I wanted to check out. All right, next we have um, The Amazing Spider-Man 375, and I think I have this comic two or three times over, but I've never had it still in its, um, you know, original, like, packaging, so that's really cool, and that was one of the books that I had won, or I should say did the blind pull and pulled, you know, like a, a pretty quality book there. Um, next, uh, the cover's pretty rough, but that's kind of the trade-off of a lot of these. We have a Sub-100 Amazing Spider-Man, number 65. And I only need, like, maybe two other comics to have all of the um, Spider-Man issues from 60 to 70. I only need, like, two issues, and I'll have, like, that whole 
run right there, which would be really cool. And I think this has got to be the coolest book that I got. This is The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, uh, number 11, the variant edition with the black cat. Um, and it is autographed by J. Scott Campbell. And uh, I think I paid $5, but it is worth 55 also have the um, certificate of authenticity so that is really super cool um, definitely one of the coolest pulls that I've ever gotten and uh, yeah so that concludes my auction comics and just some other random things that I've gotten here lately um, look forward soon uh, for you to be hearing from me about the conclusion of Nick Spencer's Amazing Spider-Man run I'm also hoping to do a video soon <clears throat> that involves video games, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. But anyways, thank you for watching, and please continue to tune in, like, and subscribe, and thanks again. Have a good one.